Hey, Lance, I think I hit the wrong button the first time. My apologies. Oh, nope, no worries. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We'll be starting shortly. Welcome, 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 welcome. 
All right, you guys, we are about to start. Uh, we still have some people coming in. If you would, uh, feel free to share your camera. Thank you for attending today. Hello, hello, hello. All right, you guys. All right, so we can go ahead and start. I'd like to be very prompt. Uh, and we actually have um, some new faces. So we are going to recap the orientation in a few minutes. And for you guys who attended last week, this will be a nice refresher. And then we'll hop right in. So thank you for everyone who have uploaded their information for us to review. And all right, let's get started. Let's see. I'm going to share my screen with you. And again, we're going to begin with... Um, a quick introduction for the newbies. All right, one moment. All right, I'm hoping everybody can see everything okay. Yeah, looks good. Sounds good. All right, so this is Grow Through Budgeting. This is our first class. Again, we had orientation last week. I did realize um, that I did not go over the syllabus in enough detail. So that's one thing I'm going to make sure that I do. Um, but we're going to begin with introductions. Again, we have a a few new faces that didn't make the orientation, but they're here for the class. So let's start. Give your name, your business name, and whatever you'd like to say, limited to 20 seconds. Let's go. Do you want us to answer the second prompt, or you said just whatever we want to say? Yeah, let's do the first one. I'm going to try to do two two things, but let's just do the introduction first and let me do 20 seconds and then we'll go around the room, let everyone introduce themselves and then we'll come back around and <clears throat> do the one win, one challenge and a word of encouragement. Thanks for the question. Okay. My name is Zaide and my business is School of Music in Z Major and whatever I like to say, um, I'm excited to learn more about budgeting. My finances are all over the place and I have no idea what's going on. So I'm happy for this class to help me kind of ring it all in. Sounds good. Thanks for sharing. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, uh, my name is Lance Hawkins. I'm the owner of uh, West Tees Technologies. We're a boutique cybersecurity company. Um, like Zade, I'm excited to kind of rein in my finances and um, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's some extra money out there that I can put to good use. Sounds good. Thank you, Lance. All right. Hi, I'm Amaya. Um, I'm the owner of Trinity Family Counseling Solutions and a pretty mogul boutique. I am definitely needing to um, have a better track of where my money is going. I'm in my business and just wanting to. Um, just utilize my money the best way I can. Sounds good. Sounds good. We'll make sure that that happens. Thank you for joining us. All right. Who else? I'm Mary Kate. Um, I am the owner of Nurture Nature Family Consulting, and I work with families who have children with disabilities. I um, feel a lot of shame around money management um, and I would like to feel less like a child and more like the full ass grown up that I am. Um, so I, I tried to do the homework and I think I did more than I was supposed to. And then I just shame spiraled and didn't, I don't know what happened. I need some hand holding this week on Thursday. I think I need to come to the office hours. Um, so. <laughs> Sounds great. Kudos to you. I love this. I love the progress. Absolutely love it. Thank you for sharing. And, and let's be clear. I'm not shaming her because we both feel like we suck in this area. <laughs> 
So I think we just have really high expectations and we know that we're doing some really great things and um, we have money coming in, but we also have a lot going out and we're just like, need to really understand it so we can do things with it. And um, yeah, so I think that's the shame. It's like, we could be doing a lot better and that's why we're here. But that's today good. is our... 14th wedding anniversary and we're at a budgeting class and we decided that this was both the best and worst gift we've ever given each other for our anniversary. <laughs> Happy anniversary to you guys. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. All right. Who's next? All right, Arnella, would you like to share? We're just going over introductions again for all the newbies in the house. I'm sure, yeah, I'm Nella. Um, my business is naturally Nella. I'm just sure whatever I wanna say. Um, I'm really excited about this, but really nervous. Um, Mary and Jason, you guys aren't alone. I feel the same exact way you guys feel. I hate talking about money. I just like spending it. So there's that. <laughs> I love it. And we have two others that I'm not able to see. If you could please introduce yourself, give your business name, your name, and a quick whatever you'd like to say to us. All right, we're gonna bypass that. We have a time limit, so I'm gonna move on to the next thing. One thing we're gonna do every week is we're going to take a look back at the prior week, see one win, one challenge, and of course, a word of encouragement for the group. So last week, as Mary told you, was your first assignment. It was to gather all of your information and to pro provide it to us so we'd have it ready this week. And the information means all your personal and your business bank statements. So tell me, what was one win, one challenge, and a word of encouragement? We'll start with Zade. Oh, man, I was still thinking. Um, one win is that I am progressing in my understanding of my budgeting because when I was looking up my expenses and vendors, I was like, Wow, I didn't know I had that one. Well, I didn't know I had that one. Oh, I have that one too. So, you know, that's good that I'm kind of understanding more of how many um, I have. Absolutely. Um, one challenge. Um, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't have too much trouble just looking at the bank statements and uploading those. Um, and a word of encouragement. For the group, I would say, you know, we're all here again today. So good job with sticking with us so far and we're making it through a step at a time. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Anyone else? I'll go. One win is that I actually uploaded everything. <laughs> the challenge was uploading everything because I had to like, it's like you have to face things when it's like right in front of your face. So that's a huge challenge for me. I think it's just really uncomfortable. Like, I don't know why just talking about money is just so uncomfortable for me. I just don't like, I don't like to do it. So the fact that I'm even doing this is a challenge in itself. And a word of encouragement is, I just feel like I'm like the most anxious person ever. So if I can face this and I just encourage you guys to do so as well because yeah thank you Arnella thank you all right so I volunteer to host a support group at our house for emotional support <laughs> I love it thank you thank you I will not be leading it I need the help as well <laughs> That's Sandra's job and our oh. all of our therapists can like come to this support group. <laughs> I love it. No charge. <laughs> Somebody has to cook now. Somebody has to cook. I'll cook. <laughs> uh, this is definitely a word of encouragement. 
All right, who's next? One win, one challenge, and one word of encouragement. Well, yesterday I spent time trying to do the homework, which I think I misunderstood as going item by item through all of the statements and putting them in a spreadsheet. Wow. And then realized it just said upload them, which doesn't mean go item by item through said statement. So I think I count that as both a win and a loss because I had to eat a lot of things to get through that activity yesterday afternoon. Um, I don't have much to say beyond that. I did it. I did it for three solid months of our, and um, it was interesting. And I did realize that I was paying for things via subscriptions that I didn't know I was paying for. So that was helpful to realize that I don't need to pay these. So now I have the next job of actually going and stopping said subscriptions, which is a whole nother task, you know? <laughs> um, but I felt proud of myself for sticking in there for that when I thought that was the homework. I feel really proud of you. You are moons ahead of us, as you see. But let me ask you, is there anyone else that would like to share their win, their challenge, and a word of encouragement before I go to the next slide? All right, moving on. Here we go. So I wanted to quickly recap the 12 week schedule in detail. I realized that's something that I went over really, really quickly. So if you, so, you I'm sorry. So if you could take your, um, open your folder and locate your syllabus. I want to go over that uh, so you guys can know what we're doing and when. So do you have any questions on how to get to it? You can go to your drive, your classroom drive. And I think it's under materials. I'm going to go to mine too. Let's see. Classes. Yes, everyone should have theirs in there. Component and under orientation materials, it's going to say growth through budgeting syllabus. All right, so I went through this quickly, but I'm going to go over the schedule, the calendar. This calendar is important. So last week we had the orientation where I, I skimmed over this stuff, but I want you to understand the day, everything's on Tuesdays, the date, today's the 13th, so this is what we're covering today, the description, we have the introduction, orientation, review the syllabus, and the questionnaire that you guys uploaded, and these are the items that are due, all right? Having the, the requested materials, items needed, and completing the questionnaire and the checklist. You guys have done this. So thank you for sticking through your own schedule. And then next week, this is gonna be what's required of you. We're gonna review the materials. And then we also have um, other items that we're gonna ask you to complete, which we'll go over today. All right, so then you have the 27th. Uh, we're going to be creating a chart of accounts, categorizing our expenses. <clears throat> Mary has categorized her expenses already. <laughs> That's very, very good. And then we have no class again on the 4th of July. And then we move into the budgeting items where we enter your budget data and so forth and so on. Okay. And for the sake of time, I'm not going to go through it in much detail. I just wanted to make sure I covered the dates, the descriptions, and what's going to be due on that day. Okay. So this is what we intend to cover. Some things are to be announced depending on the speed of the class. If everyone is you know, up to par and doing things a lot quicker, we'll move through this quicker than anticipated, all right? All right, so I've gone through that again. 
Next, Beth, is, Elizabeth is gonna go through everything that you uploaded and to see if anything is missing and if anything else needs to be provided. On my end, I wanna show you guys what we're gonna do with this data, which is to actually establish um, that structure so that we capture everything that you're that you're spending. So I'm gonna give you an example of what a complete picture would look like um, and the template and make sure you guys can work in Excel and actually complete this for the, the next class, okay? All right, so I'm gonna test your Excel skills. So do you have any questions? All right. So <clears throat> one thing I see here, we'll go over the responses to the questionnaire. So the questionnaire had three questions for you guys. Um, like, what are you expecting? What are you hoping to accomplish? Would anyone like to share what their goals are for taking this class? Let me back up. Did everyone complete the questionnaire? Okay, so I, hmm, do I have to volunteer somebody? We need somebody to speak up. I'll volunteer. Thank you, Adela. My my goal is to just learn how to basically budget better. I hate that word, but yeah. I do need to like learn how to do that because I'm like, I'm pretty bad. I feel like I blow through money really quickly okay. when it's not necessary. I buy the most unnecessary things sometimes. Sounds good. Okay. Any my, other goals? Yes, ma'am. Oh, sorry. Uh, my immediate goal is for us to like have some breathing room in regards to our money to and i think what i mean by that is not necessarily have more money although i would really like to not feel broke um it, it is like to have a sense of where we are with money um i feel like we have a lot of different accounts that are used at various times and so it's like where money's coming in versus where money's going out i feel like our flow is a mess. Um, so I think that's a big goal is to to like be able to breathe when I think about the money instead of feeling so anxious about it all the time. All right. I love that. Okay. That's what we hope to accomplish. And you as well, Arnella, because once you're looking at the budget and you realize where the spending is going, maybe you have a different direction that you'd like for your funds to go and maybe that'll be your motivation. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right. So any questions? All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so again, today we are going to set the structure. I need to see where you guys are when it comes to Excel because um, I'm going to show you this document and it's going to require some adjusting. So let me ask you, do you guys feel, is there anyone in the room who doesn't feel comfortable with using Excel? All right. So what we'll do is I'll show you guys how to do some of the basic changes that are going to be required. Um, Kyra has uploaded our admin. She has uploaded the personal. Let me make sure I get it right. She's uploaded a template to your folder, the one that I'm going to re be referring to but let me see what it's called before I call it wrong, but it's still in your folder. Let's see what we got. This is, uh, let me go up one. It's in class two, reviewing materials and documents. And you're going to see both a personal bookkeeping template and a business bookkeeping template. So this is what I'm looking at. I had to go into my own drive and see what I had and it's under class two. So I have a company called Most Wanted. So I'm doing this budget with you guys for that company. 
But nevertheless, under class two, under materials, you're going to see the two templates that Cairo has added for you guys. So when I open my budget template, when you open yours, which I welcome you guys to do along with me, since you do have this document in your folder, just open it up and let's take a look at it. I'll give you a second to open it, okay? Can we proceed? All right, so this is the bookkeeping template. There's a business one here and there's a personal one here. If you are a client where we currently do your bookkeeping for your business, you can totally disregard the business bookkeeping template because your bookkeeping is housed on QuickBooks probably. So all we would need to do is go in and pull your financial statements and we wouldn't need this step. So you can disregard. However, the personal, you definitely need to complete. So you can just take a look at us as we edit this Excel as a, a lesson. Because the same thing that you do for this business template, bookkeeping template, is what you do for the personal as well. So I, although this is an all-encompassing budgeting class, we are going to look at the budget, um, look at the business by itself, and then we're going to also look at you personally, your personal side of things by itself as well. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So, yes. So when you say like that, if we're a client, we can disregard the business bookkeeping template. Do we not need a spreadsheet that lays out where our business expenses and things are for this budgeting class? Your QuickBooks file, because you do have one, has a profit and loss statement that can be generated because your bookkeeping is done already on a monthly basis. Okay. So the only thing you would need to do, and anyone else who is currently a client, the only thing that would need to happen, um, which I believe we've already done it for our Nellis business, is we just pull that profit and loss statement on a per month basis, and it already has all your business activity because when we set you up as a client of our firm, we ask you, <laughs> and we need you to provide every business bank account that you have, business savings account, any business account, any account that's established in a business name, it's going to already be, uh, we know about it and we would have connected it to your QuickBooks. So, Zadie, to your question, your QuickBooks file should meet this. So as we go through here, if you're noticing that you have a business account that's not connected to your QuickBooks account, that would be uh, something we need to connect so that your QuickBooks file is accurate. Does that make sense to everyone? Did I answer your questions that day? Do I need to pull up that profit and loss or am I just watching what you're doing here? Well, you're gonna watch what we're doing here. You wouldn't need to redo it, it's already done. This okay. first step right here is getting the, your bookkeeping for the last six months together. Okay. If you already have your bookkeeping for the last six months, you can take it easy on this section, but it does not relieve you of the personal side, okay? Okay, I get it. And for anyone else who doesn't have it and you're doing this, and if you need our assistance, we're here. Like Mary said, we can see you on Thursdays, all right? So what we want to do here is we take a look at the tabs. The dates that, that's in here, the names, all these accounts, we're, we're bypassing that. I don't even want to show it to you. The whole point is setting up the structure. That's what we're doing today. So we have the tab here called business bank account, business credit card account, cash transactions. And then this right here is everything combined. There's nothing you should put in the combined accounts. So when you look at Excel, you have the same information, it's the same table on four different tabs. So let's say you have a business bank account at PNC Bank, but you also have a business bank account at Wells Fargo Bank. How are you going to record your business information for these two different business accounts? Our recommendation is to do a tab for each account. So you would need to copy this one by hitting duplicate, you right click on it, the tab name, 
hit duplicate, and then it's going to create a copy of that account. Now you can say, oh, I'm going to rename this to be my PNC Bank account for my business. And then we want to rename the second one by clicking on it, right click, rename. So this could be my Wells Fargo business account. That makes sense? All right. So that's what we would do to make sure that every single account that you just got statements for is probably represented. If you have more than one account at one bank, what we suggest that you do is when you're naming it, you add the four digits of the account. So let's say this is PNC Bank, but the account is 2433 and it's a business checking. So checking. And this, this whole spreadsheet is for the business account. So you don't necessarily need to say business in the name unless you want to. So you have your first PNC account here and then we'll add the second one. I'm just gonna duplicate it rename it and then we're going to have our second pnc account and that one is i don't know let's see now four three three all right that's too close to two four three three but y'all get the point got a all question right. say got it again question. yes sir all right so this year i've converted from like sole proprietor to llc in the past six months okay. so Part of this is why it's such a mess because it's like personal bank accounts and stuff. So we're using this class to start to divide everything out, but currently there's nothing properly di divided out except for Mary Kate's business. Okay. So I've got multiple tabs I need to add here, which I'm comfortable doing, but should I just blend personal and business for those tabs and just like, we can break it out later? Mm. I want to say no. My first inclination is no, because what we're mm. like, I don't have a lot of transactions. They're really small businesses, but still like money's coming in and going out, getting paid from the business at times, using expenses from the business at times. I would say it's probably 70% personal, 30% business transactions in these accounts. So since it's not in the business name, let's keep it separate like you've mentioned but when you're doing this on the personal side your personal budget uh i think your accounts which we we hadn't gotten there yet but let's say give me one account i can reference like a business or a bank one of the personal ones that has all these different transactions uh lmcu lake michigan credit union all right that's what we'll do we'll say but let me let me show you the right one, because right now I'm on the business tab. So let me just do it completely the way it needs to be done. I will go to my personal template. And it's the same thing. It's your personal last six months, except right here. It's not a Wells Fargo checking account. It's going to be. Okay. Name. You said, what was it? Ellen. See you. And then whatever the digits are, and this is a personal account. So you would go in and under your expenses, you would have one that's going to be named something that's not one of these personal things. It'd be like an investment in a business. Okay. So I don't have anything, but that's similar it's, it's the closest one i can see but all of these can be re renamed to what they need to be okay. so this would be investments in, and i'm in all caps but you get the point yeah so i just create some line item categories in the personal one and then earmark what i know to be a business transaction i would just kind of label it here correct okay that way we'll have the expense. We know it went to a business and that that is what that account would do for us. But you already know we're going to transition you so that business and yeah. personal is separate. And will that go? Sorry to keep asking questions, but no, uh, please. is that like fuel as well? Like if I'm on a trip for business and I've got, you know, $250 worth of gas bills in a month, 
and I know that it was all business, do I just add, you know, invest in business fuel, like as a new, as a new row? I think your, your, see, so we're talking two separate things here. We're talking budget, which is planning for the future. And then we're also talking capturing business expenses that you're going to need to report on your tax return, which is like your actual data. That would be a little different from here because you're not going to budget for those expenses that keep coming out of this account. Hopefully, right. that's going to be something that's going to be coming out of an account that's specific to that business, which is going to be a step that we can take within these next 12 weeks so that we don't have to keep worrying about how to track for that under the personal side. Yeah. So for now, for the six months, if it happened, we're going to put it here. And yes, you need to have those subcategories so that we're not regurgitating the same information again and again. Because you're yeah. right, we are going to need it for that purpose. Uh, so yes, create your sub accounts, add the lines, just make sure that when you're adjusting and making edits to the spreadsheet, you check your totals to make sure that all your numbers are going to end up tying at the end. Okay. Got it. All right. So, yeah, that helps. Thank you. You're welcome. So if you need to edit the sum, because we want to make sure the total column is going to add up the lines in front of it, all those. So if you need to edit it, um, you can come up here and select the column or the number. Again, let us know if you need any assistance. Uh, you can also drag down here to make your formula, go to new cells. It's just basic things in Excel. But if we put data in here and we mess up the format of the Excel, it's not going to be relevant to us. But that's what we'll do once you guys um, set up your structure. That's what the focus is. Once you set up your structure, we'll go through and make sure it's all complete. Make sure that any new new tabs that you've added are all going to total at the end. Um, let's see. The combined accounts should be representation of all of the different accounts you've added. Like for me, I had credit card, credit card, credit card, three different credit cards. And then all these checking accounts, they all need to be represented in my total because we're going to grab that total and actually plug it in to the budget sheet, which is some separate. OK. So let me recap. The focus, the homework for this week is for you guys to add these tabs that are going to be represented for each bank account that you have personal business. Jason, you know where to put yours. If you if you have any questions, we're here. OK. Any other questions? That's the first step. Once we get this set up, then the next class, like you can see when you look at your syllabus, is we're going to go through and figure out what expenses need to go over here. These personal expenses look totally different than the business ones, but yet and still, we want to account for everything. But that's a different class. Let's just get this set up. All right. When we add tabs, does it automatically go to the combined? It does not. Yeah, we we'll have to add that, right? We we'll have to do. fix that. Let me. I don't even know how to get that back up. All right. Do you guys know how to add it? Do you, do you want me to show you how to adjust that formula? Let me get my screen back up, y'all. I just lost it. All right, one moment. Let me turn off my camera. All right. Here it is. Is it that one? It's that one. All right. All right, so let me go to business one since that's where we started and it has less tabs. So one, two, you got the three check-ins, a business credit card, cash transactions, and then combined. So let me make sure you guys understand something about the way this is set up. Um, 
each one of these uh, rows, the columns and the rows are all the same. So this one shows up on A17, accounting and bookkeeping. So that's what you're gonna see on A17 all the way across. A17. So to maintain the integrity of this sheet, should you need to add something in, which you should not because there are like so many different options down here and even blank spaces, should you need to add something in, add it in across all tabs, all right? So the combined is going to be the sum of all of the A17s for this column. Oh, my bad. This right here, that's the sum of all these, and this should be the sum of all those. But if you look up here, it's only the first two that were original. So we have to add in all of the other tabs to make this number valid. Does that make sense before I start editing it? Did I say that clearly? I'm assuming everybody's on the same page with me. So let me put some data in. Let's say here we spent $100 for bookkeeping. And here we spent $100. And then for some reason in February from Wells Fargo, we paid that $100 fee. And then um, in March, we pay 200 because we missed January and then cash. We didn't pay our accounting fees by cash. So how much are we supposed to have over here in our total now for accounting fees that we pay from all our different accounts? We should have a sum of our accounting fee that we paid in December from our PNC bank. And then we paid another hundred dollars from our other PNC bank. So in December, we should at least have 200, right? And when I come over here, we don't. That means my formula didn't add it up right. Do you understand why the formula has to match? Because I added that extra account as an example, but I didn't connect it. So that's what I mean by the integrity, everything needs to add up. So I'm gonna go to this combined account and make sure that my December 22 accounts for all December 22 transactions for each account type. So I'm gonna start from scratch. Again, this one is in the combined account and it's a formula and it's just telling me that it's grabbing the PNC 2433 on the 17. And then it's also grabbing a business credit card account from some random number that it shouldn't be grabbing anyways. All right. We're together. So you're about to change the formula? Yes, because it needs to account for every single tab that we've added at the bottom that wasn't there beforehand. And it needs to come from the right cell so that it makes sense. You ready to give it a try? All right, let's quickly do it. So I'm going to go back to the first one, and we want this to represent the PNC bank. And then I'm going to hit plus, go to the next one, hit plus, go to the next one, Wells Fargo business, same one, plus business credit card. We want this one right here. Right, that's the same thing. And then we have cash transactions. Should there be any? There are not, but regardless, it should still be included. And that's it. So now I'm gonna hit enter at the end. I'm not gonna hit plus no more. All right. So I'm gonna take this formula that I just put here and I'm gonna spread it out around the whole sheet. 
none of the numbers change, but the formula is updated. Now I gotta do it again for January because I don't want to mess up my formatting. So y'all gotta watch me do it again. Is that okay? Let me make it quick. So I'm gonna go all the way back to the beginning. This one plus this one. That one plus cash and then enter. So January was nothing. And again, I'm editing combined. I'm going to grab my formula and drag it down. Oops, too far. All right, and then I'm going to grab both of these columns, the white one and the yellow one. Hope you all making this notes on Excel. I'm going to go all the way down. Okay, now I'm going to pull it over. Perfect. Now, when I go up here and look at this, my accounting number should be representative of everything. Everything. Y'all see that number different? Now it has the total 500, which is truly what we spent. That's what we want to do. We want to capture our spending from every single source, every single bank, categorize it, and we'll know the total amount that we spent regardless of how we paid for it. Make sense? All right. So the only thing I want you to do is to make sure you have your spreadsheet set up, make sure that your formulas are going to tie, and that you have all accounts. It's very important to have all your accounts set up at this stage. Should you miss one, we can go back and add it in. Just know we'll update the sheet accordingly. And once this is solidified, then we're gonna go in and start putting your data in all these different categories, okay? That's just giving you some insight on what's to come. Any questions? So, yes. Um, so the expense rows um, appear to be, I think it might get complicated if I wanna change the rows. Um, like all these rows might not match my categorization right it won't be far off but if i want to rename them i can right but i need to rename them across all of the accounts make sure it matches on the combined account tab absolutely right okay do you know how to quickly do that yeah i do i just wanted to mention it in case anybody else starts to change their expenses because if they do it once somewhere then it's going to mess up everything you just did if we don't uh, make the change in the combined accounts too. You guys understand what he's saying? I get it, but I don't know how to do that quickly. You don't have to just go in every single sheet. There's a way to do it one for all. Yes, it is. You would highlight all your tabs. You go from one tab all the way to the end. But I think I might have a formula in there. Does anyone have theirs open? Open? Yeah. I model. think I have a formula that whatever the first name is, that's what's going to follow suit. So if you change it yeah. on one. Yeah, if you, the first tab is kind of the, is the template, it seems. So before you go into your other tabs, just decide on the expense labels that you want in the first tab. And then that will flow. It should flow all the way through, I think. Mm. Yeah. It, yeah. So the first tab is the one that everything is pulling from. For me, it, it doesn't do that. It doesn't, <clears throat> like I changed the name of like accounting and bookkeeping and it changed it to all of them except the business credit card. Mm. It changed it for cash and it changed it for combined, but it didn't change it for business credit card. All right, hold on, let me, I gotta get to the screen. I don't want to take you off track. Maybe this is a Thursday call <laughs> for uh, troubleshooting. So Sandra's network went away. Sorry about that. Um, so we were looking at the spreadsheet and see what, Zade, can you repeat your question? Yeah, I changed the the 
name of the first expense, the accounting and bookkeeping, I changed the name of it, but that name only got changed on cash transactions and combined, and it did not change on business credit card account. Okay. We can update since we do have access to everyone. Um, let me see if I can. Because she said there was a formula that was supposed to change it all. Okay, it does. So it is. Equal to the biz bank account. That is the formula equal to biz bank account a 17. Mm -hmm. Okay, here, let me show. Let me share my screen. No, I see it. You do I'll see it. Yeah, I'll copy and paste it. Sorry about that, y'all. My internet, I don't know. It, I, I moved my computer to try to see a window, and yeah, it wasn't friendly. What do I need to open for you? Just the PowerPoint. It's on the OneDrive. We're, we're nearing the end of class, you guys. Um, I just wanted to make sure you knew how to do the spreadsheet. Oh. Um, the OneDrive. Where are I? Mm -hmm. Individuals. I think the reason the formula doesn't go on that one is because oh, all so of the expenses are different. As materials. So it can't be equal to base bank account. Mm. Hmm. I don't know. I guess you don't have it. <clears throat> class number one. Yeah, class number one. All right, I'm gonna have to fix that Zada. I don't I'm not sure that your template should be fine, but you can still go in and add those tabs and then we can do a final walkthrough to make sure everything adds up, okay? Um uh, just right share your screen. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are almost done uh, with this part and then we can take questions. Are you froze? No, I'm froze. <laughs> It'll take it just a minute. Is Kyra, you froze? No. Is everybody okay? Can you talk to them? I don't know what's going on. I can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you all. I can hear you. Yeah, you're not frozen over here. Like, it, I see you moving and stuff. It's just trying to load. That's what it's doing. So, are you able to see Beth's PowerPoint? Nope. All right. We're having technical difficulties, Lance. We can use your help today. <laughs> no PowerPoint are you trying I was to just thinking you, you all might need me to come in the office. <laughs> Class number one PowerPoint. I can do it. Okay. But it's not like we're going to be able to see it. They, we aren't. They will. It's okay. There it went. Oh, momento, poor follower. It was just trying to upload everything. Okay, hold on. Just being really slow. Oh, you did? Cool. All right, guys, we were able to get it somehow. All right, so items that are due by next Tuesday, ensuring that your structure is in place, both for the business and the personal templates, creating your vendor name list, both for business and personal vendors separately, and also double check that you have provided, uploaded all your statements. All right, is any place where you're aiming to track upload any additional statements to the portal. For instance, I did all mine, then I realized, oh yeah, I have a um, retirement savings with Stash and they send me statements showing me my spending. So the money that I'm putting towards retirement is definitely a way I'm spending my money. So make sure you, you capture your spending across the board, all right? All right, again, questions, we are here. 
Thursdays between four and seven. Our phones were silent this last Thursday. We were ready. We were like at a call center waiting for them to come through and crickets. So we are here for you, okay? Call us and let us assist you with, you know, getting through every step of the way, every milestone. We're here for you. Or if you need an appointment with me, we ask that you make those three weeks in advance. And remember, after this 12-week session has ended, we are still here for you as you tweak your new creation. Great. All right, that's it, you guys. You. What, what questions do you have? Thanks for your help. Thank you. You're absolutely welcome. Anything else before we wrap it up? No, no ma'am. All right, thank you so much. Everyone. See you next time. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.